Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sean Tran. I'm a future entrepreneur, freshman, studying international business at UCSD. And in today's installment of the monthly favorites video, the third one, we're gonna be talking about a book, my new favorite purchase, a new productivity system I have, a goal I set, and a goal I'm setting. All right, so let's jump right into it. First thing we have right here is a book called Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It. It's by a guy named Kamal Ravikant. He's an ex-Silicon Valley CEO. He had a company and he just went through a really depressing time where his friend passed away and he was going through a lot of rough things, right? But he was thinking of ways to find self-love and the self-love that he talks about in this book is not like that fluffy kind of stuff that everyone says where it's like, yeah, you just gotta love yourself and you'll win. It's more like actual practical stuff. And so I really appreciated it. One quote that came out to me during the book was that he says, I never talk about what's missing in my life. I only put attention to what I intend on creating. Powerful stuff. All right, so the next thing I have is these Havaianas sandals. Havaianas, Havaianas, Havaianas sandals. And they're from, they're not from the US, uh, they're from Brazil. Yeah, they're from Brazil. And I got these sandals because I just needed new shower sandals. They're really, they're kind of thick and um, they're kind of thick, thick, yeah. And I was convinced to buy them just because a mentor that I had, I was, I was uh, spending the day at the mall with him and I was like, hey, I kind of want new shoes. And he was like, dude, you should get these shoes because he lived in Brazil for the longest time. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try them out. And so I was looking for them, looking for them. And then I found like these UCSD colors. So I was like, okay, these, these are my shoes now. And uh, I've been wearing them to the shower. So maybe I shouldn't be holding them like this, but it, they've been pretty cool. Um, they're pretty comfy and you just got to break them in. So Aviana sandals, favorite purchase for the month. Also, one more thing is that I've recently become more minimalist in that like I donated a lot of my items and like my clothing articles especially because I realized like I'm at college and I have no need for like 10 different pairs of pants and 10 different pairs of shorts like eventually I'm gonna have to do laundry but more moreover than that it's just like I want to be more conscious of everything that I own and actually have a connection to it so everything that I own now is kind of more personal to me and I have a relationship with it. All right, so the next thing is I started a new productivity system. It's called the One Thing Calendar. I learned it from a guy named Jeff Woods at the personal development conference I was in back in December. And basically what it is is like he splits up his month. So there's like 30 days in a month or what have you. And then each day he puts one priority. So for example, he would put like, um, my one thing today is to do a keynote speech and then he did his keynote speech and it's just a way to actually like double down and focus and have an intense drive to finish the one thing that will be the most influential and the most impactful pushing forward progress. For me, I've been applying this to be able to actually assess like what days am I going to really study hard for exams? What days am I really gonna focus on just reading? And what days are am I gonna focus on like creating videos? It's kind of like having more accountability for myself so that when I commit to my one thing, I really commit to it and I really get it down. All right, and for a goal that I set last month, I told myself, or I told you guys rather, that I was gonna do monthly guitar courses. And then right when I got back to school, I was like, wow, there's not enough time for me to do like weekly guitar courses. So I guess I won't be doing that. And I've decided, I've actually decided on not doing that right now because I still wanna really focus on my personal development. And so in lieu of that goal, I'm gonna set a goal this month that I'm gonna work really hard on and I know I'll be, be able to get down. It's a goal to love myself and actually use four practical practices that I learned in the book, Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It from earlier uh, to make sure that I'm really being honest with myself and I'm moving myself forward. And it's kind of a weird topic to talk about. I know loving yourself, but uh, I'll just be honest with you guys. And here's the four things that I'm doing. So the first thing that I'm doing is called the mental loop. And so it's basically like whenever I get angry or stressed or whenever I feel like flustered or even just in parts of my day, like when I wake up, um, I take 10 deep breaths and I remind myself on the, in, on the inhale, I love myself. And then on the exhale, just letting everything out, uh, whether it's a good feeling or a bad feeling, just letting, uh, just acknowledging that like I love myself first and then everything else just kind of flows out. Just like let it all ooze out, all the bad stuff. All right, 
And the second thing that I'm going to be doing is a meditation. Well, I've already been doing these things, but the second thing I'm doing is a meditation. So basically, I play a song. Um, I chose a song called Love Me by Yuruma. And I just listened to it and I was like, oh my god, it's so catchy. And I meditate to that song, again, using the inhale, I love myself, and then exhaling anything else that comes out. So basically, it's just getting myself more mindful of having a mental loop to say like, okay, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. And when that keeps playing in my head, like, I want myself to have a default condition where like, when I'm just alive and just present in the moment, I just think of loving myself. Isn't that a crazy thing to think about? Like, to really rewire and reprogram our brains to say like, even when we're just sitting sitting still, like your brain just naturally repeats, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. And a philosophy that he shared with me in the book was that if you start loving yourself, then life starts loving you. All right, and the third thing is called the mirror. So what the mirror is, is basically I set like a five minute timer and I just look at the mirror and I say, I love myself. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of weird, right? But this is what I've been doing for the past couple days. Um, so set a timer, stand in front of a mirror, just look straight into my eyes say I love myself and that's literally it and I just keep repeating that again taking deep breaths in and out and letting myself just sit with that thought I feel like this is really important and even though it sounds kind of weird it's like you're really communicating to yourself when you're looking yourself straight in the eye that you love yourself it's kind of like how we a lot of times we give love to other people but we're not willing to actually focus that towards ourselves and once we do that for ourselves I think like our self-confidence gets boosted, our energy gets boosted, everything gets boosted, like your self-esteem. And so you're able to readily give that to other people. All right, and the last thing of these practices, the fourth thing is the question. This one is maybe the most insightful thing out of all of them, but what am I saying? They're all pretty cool. So the question is, if I love myself truly and deeply, would I let myself experience this? So this question has been pretty helpful for me to make decisions in my life. Like for example, when I'm tempted to not work out, I'll ask myself, so um, if I love myself truly and deeply, what would I do? Like I would go work out. And so it's just a way to align my mental compass. And it's, it, it's a really interesting way because we're saying if we loved ourselves. We're not saying we are loving ourselves, but if we loved ourselves, how would we act? And I think looking at the world and our decisions through that lens is pretty nice. All right, and that's basically it. But I have one more bonus thing. Uh, so this is a favorite watch that I have. Um, this is a hand-me-down from my dad. It's a Citizen EcoDrive 100, and it's just, it's just this little silver watch. Um, I've been wearing it for maybe like the past five or six months, and it's just been like on my wrist every day. It has like a, a solar charger right here. You see these? These are called Lumas, I think. Yeah, Lumas, and then basically get solar charged, and then whenever I wear it around every day, it reminds me a lot of home, and it reminds me a lot of staying true to my roots. Um, so. I guess that's it for today's video. Um, I also have an announcement, hopefully an announcement. I'm going to try to do more like vlog style videos. So it's going to be like more interactive kind of stuff. And I'll be taking out around my camera more so that you guys can get more of a, you know, just sense for my life. And I think it's going to be fun. All right. Love you, Tran Clan. Peace out. See you in the next one. And bye bye